Hi, my name is Elvin Raj. So I have a set of questions from students and I hope to give my best answers to them. What is the most important thing when it comes to studies? Getting all A's or learning something new? In my opinion, I think it's better if you study for the sake of learning because this is what stays in the end. The most famous scientists and the physicists, they don't really get good grades in high school but they are really successful in their fields because they were passionate about their field. I would say for UPSR, it is really important for you to have a close relationship with your teacher because this can really help you to be up to date with how the examiners mark your exam papers and you will know how to score the maximum marks. Next question. Hi, my name is Amber and I'm 9 years old. I know you're a smart person, but have you ever failed before? If you have, how do you motivate yourself? Actually, in primary school, I did get some failures of some sort because normally I got straight A's, but then I got like 67, which was a B. And it was really hard for me because it's like I let my parents down and my family down. But the only way to get up from that is to have enough support from your family members. Try to talk to them and I would say not to give up because for me, it's better if you make a mistake in like, let's say your monthly exams compared to a public examination. So try to make all the mistakes you can before the real exam. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have a PlayStation at home? Yeah, actually I'm a really passionate video gamer, especially for football games. But I don't really have a PlayStation because I normally play these games on PC. But yeah, it's a good way to relax and always remember, just don't study but have time to have your own playtime. Do you enjoy studying? If yes, could you share some tips with us? Thank you. Bye. How do you enjoy studying is actually a really tough question because like, actually there is a tendency for some people to like certain subjects and dislike other subjects. So to actually enjoy studying as a whole, I would say it's important to have your friends there to support you. Like example, you can have your own study groups because by this way, you are actually learning from each other and this can really help you to have an interest for that subject because you won't feel lost and you'll always have like a companion to guide you with it. Question 1. How do you balance your study time and play time? Question 2. May I know how to study smart and efficient? Try to make your own timetable of some sort like to know when is your peak revision time because for some people it's better for them to revise during early morning. For some they are night owls, they are really active during the night. So try to find like which times are you most active at and then suit your hobbies and play time based on your best studying time. For the second question, how to study smart and efficiently? I would suppose if like you start early and try to study ahead of your teachers, for example, maybe a subtopic or two ahead of your teachers, this would really help you to have a better understanding of the topics that are taught at school. I sincerely believe like that it is not the grades in your exam slip that actually matter but the whole process of learning and practicing what you've learned because in my opinion practice actually makes perfect and you have to sincerely believe in your abilities to achieve in your life and I want to wish all of you all the best in your upcoming exams and remember study smart not study hard goodbye